Okay, hey everybody. So I just got this uh, Space 1999 Comlock and Stun Gun model kit uh, by MPC, I guess. But I saw this come up uh, round two. Uh, they had a right when the pandemic lockdown started, like March of uh, 2020 and April that thereabouts. Uh, they had a live stream event on their site where they were kind of showing the latest models coming up. I believe one was Voyager. The other one was uh, a model kit, uh, full scale to replica, full scale replica from the show, um, and uh, uh, they, they were saying I believe it was going to be coming out that year. Uh, here we are, uh, October, end of October, and I pre-ordered it from Auto World about two weeks ago, and it finally came in yesterday, Saturday. Uh, so, what I thought I would do is do a quick video, quick. Um, I've already kind of unboxed a little bit of it, but I thought I kind of give you guys a rundown of uh, what the what parts are in here and the, just a general impressions of quality uh, and some things that I've kind of already noticed are missing or or, or whatnot. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So first of all, I'm going to close up the box here. I noticed on the front of the box some good artwork there. On the back, basically it has your decal, it has your uh, decal markers here on the back. These numbers here I checked correspond with the decal numbers. Um, and it has some like general description of the of the Comlock and the stun gun. A little bit of background about how it actually works, I guess, in the Space 1999 world, which was all of 22 years ago, I guess. So this is historical. Uh, so anyway, um, open it up here. Uh, some packaging there, so you can kind of see I've already tore into some of it already. Uh, but basically, the Comlock comes in one one bag and then the stun gun comes in a second bag I'm gonna go ahead and I'll go ahead and open this up now actually and kind of lay it all out because I'm I think I'm gonna build it down here in the basement so the stun gun parts uh, are here kind of all consolidated together there uh, it comes with some clear parts which the clear parts look like that's like the wind the uh, view screen for the com lock some various buttons on the com lock, it appears. Uh, I thought this was super cool, some chrome parts, uh, like some of the knobs on the com lock and the stun gun. The beam emitters on the stun gun are there as well. Uh, the belt clip, which is probably going to be plastic and broke. The, the tip that goes on the com lock there. And the com lock, when you kind of look at it, uh, this, this part here on the com lock, this little uh, silver part there, Kind of goes right there. I was watching Breakaway yesterday to get some reference ideas for it. I know this is like a little silver chrome um, uh, piece right there. So anyway, so all together looks good. Uh, here are the decals, decal sheets. Uh, uh, Martin Landau's character, Barbara Bain's character. Uh, some of these are kind of like decals for the buttons. So as an example like the button on the com buttons on the com lock are going to kind of go up in there and I noticed it has decals for the buttons that are black. I, I don't think I'm going to do that. I think what I'll probably end up doing is painting these black and then inserting them up through. I, 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 I like all the, I really don't want to assemble all the buttons and then paint it, prime it, paint it. I'd rather kind of get all the buttons painted without using the decals for things like the buttons, I'll paint the buttons black, insert them up through there, glue them, and then for sure I will use the numbers. The numbers are, you probably can't see them, but the numbers are here. Then I'll end up decaling the numbers onto the button pad. Um, so, yeah, the instruction manual kind of lays out pretty simply. Obviously, you can see there's not a lot of parts to this for each one of these, but one page is the stun gun, how to assemble that. And then the com locks on the other side. The only thing that I guess I don't see in here, and I've, I've, I, I probably spent four minutes with this total beyond making this video here. So the only thing I don't see on here, unless I'm really missing it, is a paint guide. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a like a professional model paint gun. Although I'm considering I might now get one. I usually just get the. I'm not an expert model builder by any stretch of the imagination. But, so I end up getting like testers, um, 
you know, a close approximation of the tester's kit. Uh, so, but I don't see a paint guide anywhere on here. I went online and I saw some good ideas for like, you know, the Comlock, even on, even on the show, it's kind of like a, like I'd be mixing like a, like a, a tan and a, and a gray together. And then the, the stun gun is obviously like a metallic silver type thing. Um, so I'm sure I can find close approximations in like a testers or to me a spray. But I'll probably end up toiling over that for quite some time before I lay anything down. So anyway, uh, just a quick video for you guys. Uh, anyone that's interested, this just came out. I've seen no other videos on it yet. So um, I'm hoping some of the experts get get on it and start building this before me so I can copy and steal their ideas and techniques. Um, and then the only other thing I was thinking about is there's no display stand in the box for this unless, again, I'm... Unless it's right in front of me, I don't think it's here. So I'm going to want to do something like the Comlock. Like it'd be kind of cool to have the Comlock sit like a, like a smartphone stand would have. Maybe something with a base and has a curve, you know, a, kind of like an angled back that it can kind of rest in. And then the Comlock can kind of stand up straight. That might be a little bit easier to come up with, but I might be fishing through the shelves at, the, at Michael's to look for some ideas there. So... But anybody has any ideas or any suggestions or feedback on anything I just said, by all means, please uh, uh, comment below. Thank you very much.